And just what the heck is in my lotion bottle anyways? Is it even lotion at all? Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. I'm Panda Raff and this is Mr. Tango here bringing you some more massage education. Yeah, so today we're talking about a lighter topic. We've talked about some heavy topics. We have some heavy topics coming up here on the podcast. So today I kind of wanted to give us a little bit of a break and talk about something a little more lighthearted. Um, just what the heck is in my lotion bottle? So I actually don't use lotion in my lotion bottle. You might be wondering, well, what, what else is there to use? So there are four basic uh, mediums that we use to work on the body, right? You've got lotion, you've got cream, you have oil, and you have gel. Let's go through all of them today. You know, they're, they're pros, they're cons, why I like, why I like. Um, yeah, you might be curious as to uh, maybe asking your massage therapist to use something else. Maybe you don't like the feeling of it on your skin. There's all sorts of different options out there. Maybe you're just getting into massage right now and you're wondering, how what like what else can i do what else can i use so for most people they start off using lotion um for me i started off using lotion in fact I started off using lavender lotion in fact i want you to right now stop and imagine 30 massages going on in a room and they're all using lavender lotion so part of me is um maybe a little biased against it you know like that that was kind of scarring like just lavender in general I offer it in my sessions. I don't complain about it, but I do get brought back to those like beginning days where like lavender was like seared to the inside of your nose, right? Um, but I started off using lotion, and I think most people do. It's very basic. Uh, it's affordable. It's easy to use. Or is it? So what I quickly learned with lotion as I was working is it dries up really fast. I noticed that I will use. I mean. I'll easily go through a bottle of lotion a day, right? Um, maybe even two bottles of lotion in a day. I just, when, whenever I'm using lotion, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I've just been doing massage wrong for the past 14 years. I don't know. But whenever I use lotion, it feels like I can only get a couple of passes with my technique before I have to reapply and like a generous amount too. And so where you might be saving some money with lotion, you're probably going to spend more in the long run just because of how much of it you have to use. Um, the pro to it is though, that lotion works really well, or it, it does work, um, over the entire body, right? So I, I bring that up because if you look at the surface, uh, the skin surface of your hands and the you know, bottom of your feet, it is obviously different from the rest of your body. So, uh, certain issues can come up with working with those areas with certain, um, certain products. What are you doing, little man? You can try to get comfortable. There we go. There we go. I think he's comfortable now. Uh, so yeah, lotion is, I mean, it's fine. I I think it sits well on the body afterwards, right? You don't necessarily have that like sticky feeling that some products can bring you. Um, but to work with it, I really don't like to work with it. And whenever anybody suggests it, um, I'm of course going to go with it, right? Like I'm versatile enough that I can work with it, but it's, it's, not my preference, not my first choice at all. Um, but I don't mind if somebody uses it on me and you shouldn't uh, be watching this video thinking like, what Like, what, what does Raph know? Like with your feelings all hurt and everything like that. No, if you like lotion, you like lotion, right? So, But cream is basically just a thicker lotion, right? It's, it's, it's got this like really thick viscosity to it, which is really nice for... Uh, deeper work. So you'll see a lot of dudes and dudettes who use cream when they're doing their uh, like deep tissue structural body work type of stuff because uh, it kind of gives you a little more control over your technique. Personally, um, I think it forces you to go slower, which isn't in my opinion control, or at least I don't feel like it's control. I feel like it's purposefully slowing you down. Uh, but if you need that, then then fine. You use the tool the, the way that you can to best benefit yourself. Um, I've noticed cream doesn't work so well on the hands and feet, uh, as we talked about with lotion. Uh, so this is one of its downsides. I think it sits on the body just fine, um, and it is one of those it is one of those products that you can get away with using just a little bit, and it can go a long way. Um, personally, I don't like the feel of it in my hands. And 
when you're using your hands all day, something as small as like a, a little opinion like that, like, ah, I just don't like how it feels in my hands can make a really big difference because whenever I have to think about what I'm doing, and I should clarify because we're obviously all the time thinking, but when I have to fully think, like fully process what I'm doing in my massage, that slows me down. I really only want to be thinking kind of like, I call, I call it half mind, right? Like you want to be present, but at the same time, you're not overthinking each step. Your body knows what to do. It knows how to handle the situation. You've gone through your training. You're, you're well experienced. So when I use a product that that kind of limits me in a certain way or I have to think while using it, I, it's just not worth it. It just really isn't. After this, we move on to oil. Now, oil is very, very common. In fact, I would say out of all the products we're going to talk about today, oil's probably the the oldest and long, longest standing. Like that's probably the the, the OG uh, massage medium right there. I personally like oil. It feels great sitting on the body. It's easy to work with. Uh, it works pretty well on the hands and on the feet. The rest of the body, it totally works well with. The one thing that I don't like about oil and what prevents me from using it is, oh, go ahead, do what you're going to do. <laughs> what I don't like about oil is um, where, where cream is like got this really thick viscosity to it, oil seems to have a much, much thinner viscosity to the point where like when I put it in my hands, if I'm not careful, it'll like, it'll go through my, my fingers, you know, and it was like dripping on the floor and, and then people are upset because, you know, I'm working in people's homes. So I'm staining their carpet with this oil. Uh, so really that's just use your error. Like there's probably somebody sitting out there like, well, just don't drop it on their floor. Right? Like, obviously. Um, but again, if I have to think about that, then, then it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me because I, I, I want to be fully streamlined in what I do. And I don't want to have to think like, well, okay, because I'm going to get back, get lotion or oil to apply throughout the entire massage. So this is something I would have to continually think about. And that I, I just can't have that. Where, where my service comes from is from a lot of practice, a lot of experience, and a lot of, a lot of feeling the client's body, a lot, a lot of a lot of putting myself into the massage. And when I have to think, well, am I dropping, am I dropping oil on the floor? Is, is this cream going to act the way that I want it to? Like, if I have to think about stuff like that, then I'm not really present in the session. Um, so that's where, that's where I'm at with that. Like, all, and all of these I can use, right? I can use lotion, cream, or oil. And I can do a pretty darn good job with it. Uh, but they are my first choice. And now even I, I should mention... Some of these are going to be more appropriate at certain times. Take oil, for example. I would not use lotion in a hot stone massage. It would be absolutely crazy to do that. Oil, on the other hand, though, works so well. And you might be asking why. Like, well, why, why would you do these things? So um, with a lot of hot stone massages, they're going to heat the, the stones up in water. Um, now, water obviously doesn't mix with oil. And you want that. You, you want that. It kind of mixes with lotion, and you don't want that because then it makes this horrible lotion water blend, right? Like oil and water, they just go their separate ways, separate ways, and you don't have to worry about it. Um, I, I, I don't think I would use cream; that'd be kind of kind of strange. But I'm sure somebody out there who can make lotion and cream work for a hot stone massage, um, particularly if you're not getting the stones wet. I've, I've mentioned it before in one of our videos. You can heat it, your stones up on a skillet, so you're not going to have that water application. Uh, maybe it'll work then. Again, I, I've really only used oil with it because I like the glide with the stones there. Now, all of these are not my preference for, for most things, right? Gel. Now, gel to me is the mac daddy of massage products. Gel is kind of like this mixture of cream and oil, right? So to me, it has the perfect viscosity. It's not too thick, not too thin. It has amazing glide, has amazing staying power on the body. So when I, what I mean by that is I can put some gel down on the body and continue to work. And I'm not worried about coming back, applying another heaping of gel or anything like that. I'm, I can just work 
And if I have to come back to that spot, I know that there's probably going to be some gel on the body still. And if I have to apply a little bit, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but, you know, it's not like lotion where I got to use a whole other bottle, like, on the back. Just, just to do another couple strokes or something like that. Now, gel does have one significant downside to it. And if you're not ready for this downside, then I definitely would not recommend getting into gel. Um, but this, this is something that I've, I've, I've weighed out, made a calculated risk, and I'm okay with it. So gel will stain the heck out of your sheets if you're not careful. Now, the one thing you really, really should not do when using gel is take your sheets, then throw them in a hot car and leave them there all day. Now, because of the work that I have to do, because of the mobile work, that's exactly what's going to happen to my sheets, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to stain them, and then I'm going to heat that stain up, and I'm going to let it cook and bake, and then my sheets are going to suffer because of it. Lynette, thank you so much for being my laundry service. Uh, she, she's amazing. Like, if, if, if you haven't, if, if you're looking for a laundry service, please hire her because she's she, so understanding and so cool. I send her these super dingy sheets every week, and she gets them back to me relatively clean. I mean, uh, 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 cleaner than what I could do, for sure. Um, so that, that, that is the downside. But for me, I would rather give a really, really good massage that I'm super confident in and deal with some sheets afterwards than give like an 80% massage, but know my sheets are going to be just fine. That's personally where I'm at. Again, it doesn't bother me to use oils. Like take coconut oil, for example. Like uh, w what an amazing thing to use on the body. It helps moisturize the skin. It's easy to use. It's not going to stain your sheets. But if it's if it's a little too cold, then it's going to you know, it's going to beat up on you and you have to break that down in the session, more to think about. So there are lots of plus and minuses to any of the products you could use in massage. Personally, personally, uh, when I discovered gel in uh, the third quarter of my training, I, there was no going back after that. Absolutely not. There was no way that I was going to use lotions or creams or oils. It was about gel. Uh, I, I recommend you check it out. I use jojoba gel specifically, which is uh, it's it's dog friendly, right? I, after the session, it always seems that there's somebody who's who's you know licking a leg or something like that, and the owner asks like, "Is this safe for my dog?" And it, it feels so good to be like, "Absolutely." Now they probably shouldn't eat like a whole whole bottle's worth or something like that, but you know, if they, if they lick some off of you, it's 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 really not the end of the world, which which feels nice. I know a lot of other products out there are like that. That is one big thing that I that I recommend as you are getting products is uh, not only look to make sure that they're safe for humans, you know, like hypoallergenic and uh, really not going to irritate the skin or anything, uh, but make sure it's safer for the animals around them. I think that's a good, good idea. Uh, thank you so much for your attention today. Uh, like, like I had mentioned before, this is more of a lighter video. Uh, we're going to get into some heavy topics here in a little bit, a lot more vulnerability coming up here soon so stay tuned for all that if you have any questions for me feel free to reach out uh, feel free to book a massage either in home or in office subscribe hit the like button and make sure you get my book and i'll go ahead and see you in the next video